I bet you've never had a person present a shoulder sling to you, but you probably have never seen such a simple product with so much design into it. What are your current issues with the slings that you're using? We never wanted to get into selling slings and shoulder mobilizing slings, but you would be surprised how often we were asked to fix the crummy slings being used. We put all of our brace building know-how into it and developed our Gus arm sling. It's the best in class for shoulder immobilizers. Let me show you what we've done for your patients. First off, the body of the sling is called an envelope because most slings are made like an envelope. The, the material is simply folded over, a single stitch is put here along the back, straps are attached and they're sold to you. But the question I have is who is shaped like this? The Gus, and it's the unique thing about the Gus arm sling, is that we've built a gusset into the brace and you can see it here right on the end. Rather than have a complete flat line, what we've done is we've actually inserted this piece of material, which is called a gus, into the back of the arm sling. That allows this sling to contour better to the back of the arm and to allow the elbow to seat into the sling. The second thing we did to the brace is we incorporated, rather than incorporating D-rings, we incorporated O-rings into the product. The biggest complaint we hear about slings is that they really hurt all patients at the neck. A poorly made sling incorporates a D-ring at all these different locations as opposed to an O-ring. And the way these things are sized is this is the sizing length of the sling. So this size of sling will go on a very thin person and it will also go on a very wide or girthy person. And so what the O-rings allow is the straps to not be pulled in a single direction, but allow for adjustability to the girth of the patient. Thinner patients can be here, larger, wider, girthier patients can be here, and they allow that adjustability for the patient. The rings are not the only solution to the pain found in a sling. The straps are so important. Feel these straps. These straps, the entire strap is padded. These straps feel good, and since they adjust to the girth, they, they feel good and do not dig into the patient's neck. We pad the neck strap and the waist strap for maximum comfort for the patient. To hold the arm in the sling, a thumb loop is always added. Now those thumb loops are often made from the same thick and unwieldy material as the straps. How do you bet that feels in the web space of the thumb? Well, it doesn't feel great, so guess what? Patients don't wear the slings. The result is an arm that is pushed out of the envelope by bad contouring and at the end, and no thumb loop being used causing the arm to slip out and not holding the patient in a very desirable position. We contour the sling properly and we add this soft thumb loop to ensure the patient uses it. It rests comfortably in the web space of the thumb and it ensures that the patient will use it. For adjusting the brace, we've added these alligator closures to the straps so the brace can be easily cut down to the correct size for the patient. Simply undo the Velcro hook from the strap. When the, we size the brace correctly, we simply cut the material at the point of where we cut it. We can easily attach the two Velcro hook pieces and have it adjusted to the size of the patient. How do you think your patients will respond to that feel?